Now at 11, a deadly helicopter crash in San Bernardino County claims the lives of six people. Good evening. I'm Jory Rand. Michelle Fisher's off tonight. We're learning new information about those who are on board tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter joins us live from Burbank with the latest on the investigation. Leanne. Jory, that helicopter was operated by Orbic Air based here at the Burbank Airport. A pilot as well as a safety pilot were on board along with four passengers, one of them the head of a major Nigerian bank. The deadly crash happened in the middle of the Mojave Desert just after 10 p.m. Friday night. Six people on board, two pilots, four passengers, no survivors. As far as we know, uh, from what was reported from witnesses, that there was fire uh, when the aircraft did contact, contact the terrain. On board, Herbert Wigwe, CEO of Access Bank, one of the largest banks in Nigeria. Spokesman for Nigeria's president posting on X, Wigwe's death is, quote, a terrible blow for Nigeria and Africa's banking industry. Wigwe's wife, Chizoba, and his son were also on board, as well as Bamafin Amabola Ogunbanjo, former chair of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. The crash happened east of the 15 freeway near Halloran Springs Road outside Baker. NTSB investigators say they are looking into reports of downed power lines near the accident site and say they are also investigating if weather may have been a factor. It was reported by witnesses that there was rain with some wintry mix. We currently have uh, a meteorologist working on our team, and we are working to analyze and get the exact weather conditions. The Airbus EC-130 is operated by Orbic Air out of Burbank Airport. Investigators say the helicopter taken off from Palm Springs headed to Boulder City, Nevada, outside of Las Vegas. According to victims' friends, the group was headed to the Super Bowl. Wigwe recently posting on social media in part, quote, remember, life is a precious gift. Let us number our days. As authorities investigate the cause of the fatal crash, they are asking for help from witnesses. We were aware that there were uh, several 911 calls last night to report the crash from Interstate 15. And we'd like to ask any of those people that had witnessed that if they would reach out to us with any further information they may have. The NTSB and FAA both expected back out at the crash site tomorrow as they continue their investigation, which they say will be very lengthy and thorough. A final report on the crash likely isn't expected for up to a year. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.